can GERD cause sinus disease? So we think so. They've looked at, there's been several studies looking at a correlation or a cause and effect mechanism of reflux actually causing sinus disease. They think they very well can do it. We think it's likely doing that what's happening is reflux is coming up into the oral pharynx and probably due to direct contact is causing some inflammation in the sinuses, causing them to possibly get plugged off and then causing problems there. Yeah, and looking, we see a lot of sinus disease in an allergy practice. We see the sinuses trying to open up to the airway and if something's blocking it, like inflammation from reflux from GERD or we see polyps and allergy and other things. So GERD theoretically can cause inflammation of the drainage area of the sinus. So if somebody has recurrent sinusitis, one of the things that people should look for, well, do you think it could be silent GERD or GERD that you're having causing your sinus disease? Well, after you have evaluated them and you told them possibly this is it, we don't see anything else structurally, then absolutely they should come see us. So let's talk about bad breath and bad taste. What how does GERD cause that? So there again, kind of very similar mechanism. We think it's going to be reflux coming from your stomach. Oftentimes this can occur in the middle of the night and you'll wake up in the morning with just barely a bad breath or bad taste in your mouth. Probably there again. Most of the time it's not going to be obvious. You're not going to wake up with fluid in your mouth or things like that, but you may wake up with a scratchy throat. You may actually be able to do this and then you've got this bad taste or bad breath and it's probably due to microscopic amounts of this stuff coming up out of the, uh, out of the esophagus and into the airway at nighttime.